Hi folks, welcome to my shop. My name is Fred. A couple of weeks ago, my grandson and I were watching YouTube videos and we migrated across the area of can crushers and he was mesmerized with them. So at one point he turns to me and he says, Papa, we got to make a can crusher and we got to put it up on YouTube. So this is the result of that request and it is called Caleb's Can Crusher and this one's for you buddy. Our grandson is eight years old and uh, very interested in mechanics, mechanical things, mini bikes, all kinds of steam engines, etc, etc. So what I wanted to do is see if I could make a can crusher out of the parts I had and this is what I came up with. I found in my stash of stuff some aluminum extrusion three inch in diameter and it has a really smooth bore. Uh, I polished it up, the one I used, and uh, it's the heart of, it's the cylinder of it. I have a couple of quarter inch end plates here. I chucked them up in the lathe with a four jaw chuck and ran a hole in each end and then put a, uh, a copper pipe fitting for half inch uh, copper here compression fitting and I modified it so I could put string around here and get a good seal on the end. The piston is about three quarters of an inch thick. It, it runs back and forth the length of this. It's got two nitrile rings in it and the, and the air is admitted and exhausted from these two ports. The valving uh, was the the more difficult part of this. This was a real straightforward valve. I had this one in stock and it's momentary. Push it down, air is admitted up to this point. Let it go, the air is cut off. This one that I had in stock had detents. It's a center off but it would click and hold when you pushed it this way and it would click and hold it when you pushed it this way. And I didn't want that. I wanted one that returned to the center so that at no time could it be engaged and you would have to use both hands in order to make this work. So what I did is I came up with this little mechanism here. It's got a couple of brass pins that are spring loaded, a couple of grub screws on the end pushing in from each side uh, supply the preload so it well, you're not in frame that well. So that's the there we go. That's that's how it works. So uh, the the tubing that's used here is quite small, and there was a reason behind that. And I didn't want this thing to to operate too quickly. So the volume of air that can pass through the system is regulated by the size of the inside diameter of the bores or the lines. So if you push this down, nothing. If you push this nothing. You got to push this down and that one to uh, get it to operate and then down and back. You can see how slow it operates. So let's crush some cans here. Amy's organic split pea soup can. You know why? It's frozen. Gosh darn it. Okay. Cut. Hi folks. This is Fred. It's uh, the next day. It's actually Monday. Uh, my video started on Sunday and I discovered that I had ice in the airlines so I we thought out the thought out the pipes blew them out with air and I installed the oiler and the uh, the uh, water separator at the head end near the compressor and I want to show you how how it should react remember yesterday 
it start off high, it go low, and then it just creep back up. Well, watch this. This is. You can see it pop right back up. That's how it should be. So, now that I've got this fixed, I can start the video on the can crusher. <laughs> okay? Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Right, one the first left one down, and then the right one forward towards towards the can. Go ahead. Wow, that's a tough that's can. That's a tough can. We'll try it again. No, I see back it up. a little bit. Okay, let let go. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's a tough can. Might have to take some hammerhead tender out. Okay. Not a moment of truth. <laughs> Whoa! Excellent. Okay. Excellent. That, that was that was good. That was a Maxwell House can. Uh, Which one? Peaches. Is peaches. All right. Why is peaches? Peaches, you're doing good. What? Wow. Like peaches can Hold too. On. Try it again. Back it up. Let's do it sideways. I think it's pressure because we only got like 80 things. Like 80, 80 pounds. 80 Let's pounds. try it now. Oh. Take it off? Okay. Let's try, let's try flattening it out here. Okay. Okay. I'd say that's pretty flat. Want to, try, want to try an Amy's soup can? Diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes, okay. okay. I don't think, it, I think I we think better do these sideways. Oh, how about like this? Oh, okay. Give it a shot. Maybe just put it on top of them like that, maybe. Okay. Now we can lay it down. Pretty good. Wait, 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 put it this way. Oh my god! <laughs> that, that can was pretty tough too. That can was pretty tough. Broke the screw right off. We're losing pressure. Okay, well, if you watch in a minute, that'll start going up, okay? So should we wait? Well. Wait, has it been filming this whole time? Yep. Hi. Okay, Caleb and Papa here. Ha ha! Like a salt can. Take your hands off, okay. You can find a good peach can. <laughs> Give her a shot. Bye, peach can. Boy, that's pretty good. I think I can do a little better with my hammer, honestly. You don't have to push too hard on it. I mean, that's that's how the pneumatics like are I doing didn't it. Push too okay. Hands off. Excellent. Oh, we're back at eighty pressure. Oh, it's going up quick now. Yeah, you know why? Why? That's because the compressor is on. Watch. Wait, you keep do, going I, do up. I hear the compressor? It's out in the garage. It's eighty-five feet away. See, look at it. it's ninety. 90, it should go off at like 95. Oh, maybe 100. At almost 100. 99. Okay. I think it hit it. It went off. I might have heard it. Okay. Ready? Cherry. Keep your face out of the way now. Fruit filling. I'm going to go for another hit. Look at it, it's a, it's a square. Yeah, go for it's it. It's not really a square, it's a rectangle, but fine. Yeah, you got it. This video is not about geometry. It's about okay. smashing the cans. So it's about pneumatics, right? I killed Look them. at that. That's excellent. Want to go for this one? Yeah, we can go for the puree now because now we got. We got a, We have a system, right? We got more pressure. Okay, let's go for it. <laughs> Here, pick it up. Evil. Oh my god. Okay. I didn't even 
see it move. Both hands off. Both hands off. Maybe like that? No, I don't think so. We'll do it this way. Goodbye. Okay. Hands off. I think we have almost okay. crushed. Excellent. I think we can get this a little flatter. Try that. Excellent. I, I, I think I crushed it. Now that's one squished tomato yep. can. <laughs> okay, say signing off. Signing off. Bye, everybody. Bye.